RTK, or real-time kinematics positioning, is a satellite navigation technique used to enhance the precision of position data. This is usually done over fixed or moving base stations that send out the correction data to our rovers so they can correct their position. In this video, we will set up and configure a base station together with a rover for which we will use a DSIMU2 device. Configurations of other devices like DSVGPS do not differ much, so in case you are using any other device for a rover, you can as well check our RTK manual that is added below in the description of this video. Okay, let's start with setting up the fixed base station. First, you need to find a space where you have a clear view of the sky without any tall buildings nearby or any other multipath reflections. Starting with a base station case now. In the base station case, you have DSVGPS high-S device, Bluetooth modem, battery and RF modem. As you can see, Bluetooth and RF modems are already connected to power over DSVGPS high-S and as well the battery is fully connected inside a case. Make sure your case battery is full before setting up the system. Everything inside a base case already comes pre-configured, so all we need to do is to connect antennas to the case, power on both Bluetooth modems and plug one Bluetooth modem into the PC. Bluetooth modems will later serve us to connect and configure the DSVGPS HiAS device in Devasoft X software over Bluetooth. Let's move to the rover now. We will use DSIMU2 as a rover that is connected over DSIMU2 cable to the power supply from the car and then connect the second RF modem to the DSIMU2 cable. In case you use a DSIMU1 device as RTK rover, make sure you order and use the DSIMU2 cable with it to power the RF modems. The only thing left is to connect the USB cable from the IMU to the PC and sync cable to any other data acquisition device you may have besides. In case you use a Sirius, this IMU needs to be set as clock master. We'll move to the computer settings now, so let's grab a computer and run Devasoft X. First, we need to enter Devasoft settings to add all of the devices that we will use for RTK. Base station uses DSVGPS HiS, which is added as Devasoft RS232 device in Devasoft, so add this one. Now add the DSIMU device, which is plugged into your PC over, D over USB, and click the refresh button to get all the information about devices into Devasoft. Click on Devasoft RS232 device and reset receiver first. Wait a bit for it to connect and set the following. Antenna should be set on external and update rate should be set on 100 Hz. For receiver mode, select RTK base station. Now select the baud rate the same as it was defined on the RF modem. So 38,400 Hz in our case and click the set button. You can see we got the additional area to set the base station position, so we can change co coordinates of the, of the base station to the current position. We will wait for a few minutes so the receiver gets a valid fix. Now we will click a few times on the read GNSS position button and observe deviation of attitude and the number of satellites. There should be at least 12 satellites for good RTK solution and altitude should not deviate anymore. After successfully reading the coordinates, so more or less still altitude value, click on set base position and exit Devisoft settings with OK. OK, we are done with the base station now, so we can disconnect it from our device list in Devasoft and also we can disconnect the Parani modem. Once set up, if the antenna is not moved, the settings don't have to be changed again, even if the base station is powered off and on. Let's move to the rover now. Select the DSIMU device in settings and check if it is connected. 
Click the local system option and set the synchronization. Select DSIMU as a time source and the GPS PPS as a clock provider. In our case, we will as well set synchronization for the series device. So DSIMU will be in this case GPS PPS provider, so it will have GPS PPS out and Sirius will have GPS PPS in. Click OK now to confirm and exit the settings. You will be redirected to the channel setup of Devasoft software. Now select the DSIMU tab, go to configuration window, enable or activate RTK option and set NMEA slash RTK baud rate on 38,400 Hz. You should see a green RTK fix GNS status in a less than a minute if there is a good view of satellites. That means RTK is received correctly. Now you can go and check both RF modems, where you should see a TX light blinking on base station modem and RX light blinking on the rover modem. If you have trouble with getting RTK correction, check our RTK troubleshooting video and follow the instru instructions to get a proper correction. Now, go and have fun measuring!